Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Bilal Abdul Karim for OGN. Today, we're going to be discussing this very critical events which are taking place in northern Syria in the areas around Jebel Turkman. Exactly, we're going to be discussing longtime Mujahid commander and fighter Muslim Shishani. His positions, he and his fighters' positions were attacked this morning by Abu Muhammad Jolani and his forces, Hayat Tahrir Sham. Now, something is very, very important that we have to understand. Number one, where are Muslim Shishani's forces? His forces are in the Jebel Turkman area. This is a mountainous area, and should Jebel Zawiyah fall, then those territories would fall as well. Now, what is Jebel Zawiyah? Jebel Zawiyah has been under intense bombing by the Russians and the Iranians over the past several months. They want these territories very badly. Should these territories fall, that would mean a full 35% of the remaining territories here in the free territories would go back to the regime. Very, very important note. Now we have to ask ourselves a question. Why is Abu Muhammad Jolani attacking Muslim Shishani's positions now? This is a question that's been on most people's minds, but it's very important for people to understand that most of the Syrians, not some, most of the Syrian people here believe that Jebel Zawiyah has already been sold and Hayat Tahrir Sham or I should say Abu Muhammad Jolani, will be handing over those territories back over to the regime. There's very little trust for Abu Muhammad Jolani. There's a good level of trust for some of the fighters of Hayat Tahrir Sham, but not for Abu Muhammad El Jolani, whom many people believe, and I am one of them, that he gave away the territories of Maris Norman, Khan Sheikhoun and Sarakib, I myself were in those territories just before they fell, and I know the absence of troops that were in these territories at that time. So therefore, I have a message which is for three groups of people. One, the Syrian people. Two, a different message will be for the uh, fighters, the Muhajirin, which came here to fight for the sake of Allah, and then after that, to safeguard the Syrian people. And then three, for the Amniyin, or the fighters of Hayat Tahrir Sham, which are being sent out to fight Muslim Shishani. Number one, let us first discuss my message for the Syrian people. I would say this, for 10 years, more than 10 years, you fought a good fight against Bashar al-Assad. However, it is time for you to wake up and to understand that Abu Muhammad Jolani means no good for the revolution here in Syria. Most of you realize that and understand that, but now is the time that you have to raise your voices in accordance with that. It is not sufficient for you to simply understand that this man is a danger to the revolution, but it is now the time for you to understand that you have to take action and raise your voices. You cannot be silent. This is number one. Number two, a message to the Muhajirin. The Muhajirin, you are particularly vulnerable in this entire situation. Why? Everyone here knows that a campaign has been waged in recent months against the Muhajirin. And this is only one of those, which is Muslim Shishani. The Muhajirin and the Ansars, which are here in Syria, all know that Muslim Shishani has no connection to ISIS whatsoever. And I would ask you a question. They are now attacking Muslim Shishani. Do you think that Hayat Tahrir Sham or Jolani himself will stop at Muslim Shishani? Absolutely not. It is very, very well understood with lots of proofs and evidences that Abu Muhammad Jolani is most likely colluding with outside security forces. Therefore, the number one people that will be targeted by those security forces and Abu Muhammad Jolani as their point man will be the Muhajirin. You have no families to back you. You have no big tribes or anything of this nature. You will be the first to go. It is now time for you to raise your voice as well. And thirdly and finally, I would say to the Amniyin who are a part of Hayat Tahrir Sham, I would tell you this. Number one. Do not be fooled by Abu Muhammad Jolani. He will not be there to protect you next year, two years from now, or when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decrees it. You will have to explain to Allah why you attacked 
those people who came to help the Syrian people. Most of you are 20, 22, 21 years old. When the revolution started, you were too young to even know what was going on. So therefore, I am saying to you that these are people who fought hard so that you would have the level of freedom that you have now. They are your brothers in Islam and it is wrong to attack them. Two, you also know and understand that if there was a real justice system, there would be a very easy way to solve these problems wherein we could easily say to Muslim sit down along with Hayat Tahrir Sham and go to an Islamic court but you know and I know very well that there's no such thing that exists here in these free territories or so-called free territories because if there was there would be an easy way out you know very well that there's torture that's rampant in the prisons there's no lawyer no representation for the detainees and you know full well that they don't even have official charges their charge is that they're doing things that the state or Joe Lanny simply doesn't approve of and that in and of itself is enough of a reason to throw them in prison and keep them there and there are many just like it so i would say safeguard your dunya safeguard your akhirah and pull away from uh, abu muhammad jolani and simply refuse to go and fight the people who are your brothers i am bilal abdul kareem jazakum khair wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh